Hey guys, it's Dale with the insurance. Today we're talking about, it's an article that, uh, once again, it's specific to uh, uh, an industry, right? And an occupation, but any small business, and I truly hope that every small business um, reads this, or if you already have this coverage, absolutely great. Uh, because you'll find that there are parallels um, in terms of the risks related with the occupation that this particular article focuses on, um, they're parallels to just about every business, especially those that, um, that deal with consulting and advice, um, the things that aren't as tangible, right? Like that, that you're not making a product or a widget for someone. Uh, this one is what kind of insurance do real estate agents need, right? And you think real estate agents, you're not, you're not doing much. You're driving from property to property. You're not even in a property for or an office for, for, for that much time. What do they need? And they need a lot. There's a lot of exposure. The first is professional liability, right? It's also called errors and admissions. Um, you're, you're, you're dealing with, uh, perhaps the largest purchase that a, a, a person or a couple or a family will make in their lifetime with a, with a home purchase. So, so not only are emotions high, um, but the, the opportunity cost of making a mistake is very high, right? So if you're found negligent or you forgot to, 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 to tell, um, your your client about a huge expense but but somehow something you are found liable for either makes the deal fall through or costs the, the your, your client hundreds of thousands or maybe even tens of thousands or thousands of dollars um you could be on the hook for that right so professional liability you know insurance provides the 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 backing, financial backing for you to represent yourself uh, in such a case. And if you're found liable, it, it'll provide uh, the, 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 the funds to pay out up to the, the limit of insurance, right? Um, the next one is general liability. And this ha this does have, have to do with the office. Um, that, that will cover um, if one of your clients or someone who's a potential client slips and falls, hurts themselves, hurts their property, while on your property, right? On your premises. Um, this oftentimes also can include kind of things like slander or libel um, that you may be found culpable for. Um, e and O also handles things like slander as well. Um, but it's very, it's obviously very important. Once again, real estate agent, you should be kind of driving and showing homes and, and things like that. So you may not, you may not be in off, in an office, a physical office that often, but, uh, but it would, when you are there, it would provide, um, it would provide, uh, coverage for you if something were to happen to a client. Also that extends to, to other things for, um, oftentimes it extends to, 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 to kind of renting your vehicle, vehicles that you, you're driving in, um, uh, or vehicles that, that, that you own while working. Um, another coverage that, that, that almost packages this up is, is called a business owner's policy, a BOP. Um, and it's composed of kind of your, your, your general liability, uh, and, and property coverage, right? And it, it, it covers, it, so it covers all the things that GL does, all the things for, 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 for your normal property policy for the contents within your property and the building itself. Um, but it's packaged together because insurance companies know that a small company tends to need both. So instead of buying these monoline coverages, they package it into one. And also sometimes I think workers' comp is included. Um, you, you get to actually pay a, a lower premium by combining them. Um, so, so, it's a, so it's a nice little product to, 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 to look into. Um, those are, once again, 
definitely applies to a real estate agent. You're giving out very important advice on a high stress, um, well, hopefully not high stress, but, but at least a transaction that's very important in a lot of people's lives. And because that advice is very crucial and important, you wanna make sure you're covered just in case. Not saying that your clients don't like you, but clients do sue, so, so you wanna be covered. Um, and, and, and those are three coverages that, that, that you should definitely look into if you don't already have. And once again, that definitely for real estate agents, but goes to any, goes for any small business. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for stopping by. We'll chat next week.